Start in seventh grade is a frightening experience for any kid, and I was no different. I mean, I wasn't just leaving behind my school, I was leaving behind my best friends, and I was leaving behind the sanctuary of my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, everybody knew us, the Pisanos. We were our own gang, and nobody messed with us. By the time I was going into seventh grade, I weighed nearly 250 pounds. And for the first time in my life, I was self-conscious of what I looked like. I felt so alone. My sister Michelle, she was gonna be starting high school. My sister Marie and brother Al had already graduated. My brother Mark was in trade school. My brother Michael dropped out. And my brother Chris, well, Chris was just smoking weed and spending time with his girlfriend, Sheila. The majority of my first year in seventh grade, I had spent either in the principal's office, in the nurse's office, or in the counselor's office. The summer before my father had um, surgery and he had had his kidney removed to get rid of the cancer. And he was recovering and everything, but um, he was just different, you know? Cancer changes people, you know? In good ways and in bad. He had quit smoking, he stopped drinking, but he was just a different person weaker not only his body but his soul it's like the fear had taken something from him the cancer had taken something from him I swore never to be afraid of anything or anybody matter of fact I became obsessed with death I just want to die was my monastitch. It was everything. It was poetry to me. I remember one time I got in an argument with my brother Mark and I grabbed a knife and I slit my wrists. I cut him deep enough to bleed, but not to die. I remember I used to sit around and think of all the different ways I could kill myself. I could jump in front of a car. I could lay down in front of the train tracks at the end of my street. I could steal a box of sleeping pills from CVS and just eat the whole box. I could find my father's gun and shoot myself. I became obsessed. I remember one time my mother's aunt had hung herself with their bed sheets in the hospital. And my mother took me to her funeral, thinking maybe that, you know, to prove some type of point to me about how the seriousness of, of suicide. I never told her, but uh, I envied her aunt. She'd escaped it this shit we call life. So I finally got through seventh grade and was getting through eighth grade and towards the end of eighth grade, my father had a heart attack. And he was rushed into Brockton Hospital and later they transferred him into Deaconess Hospital in Boston. They said he had to have surgery because three of the main arteries to his heart were blocked. So surgery was scheduled for the next morning and we all went home so that my dad could rest. 
The next day, nobody went to school. We all sat around the table in the kitchen. We were just waiting for the phone call to hear that my dad was okay. We all just sat there in complete silence. We never said anything to each other. We just sat there and waited. Finally, the phone rang and my mom answered. This is she. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. And she hung up the phone. We all sighed in relief. That was going to be okay. I remember we all sat around the table and started laughing and joking. Only the good die young, we said. Only the good die young. Dad's going to outlive all of us. About an hour later, the phone rang. My brother answered, my brother Al. Just a moment, please. My mom answered the phone. Same line. Yes, this is she. No. 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 And she just crumbled to the floor. Like a load of laundry on the laundry floor. Everybody was screaming. In the whole world around me went numb. I couldn't hear anything. I screamed and screamed and I couldn't even hear my own voice. It's like the bees were buzzing inside my head. Everything was numb all around me. And then, boom, my brother Al just hit me hard right in the back of my head. Shut the fuck up. You don't even fucking care. That was it. That was the beginning of the end.